All right. Uh, with that, uh, I would also like to take the opportunity to briefly uh, tell you a little bit about uh, the data services that we offer. So, um, well, Auntie did uh, introduce me, so I'm totally going to skip this one. Uh, but uh, uh, in general, uh, talking about uh, about image data, we know that there's many challenges uh, as well as opportunities facing us when we talk about uh, image data, whether it is management or analysis. Of course, uh, some of the classical things is the sheer size of uh, image data and uh, each experiment could just be easily uh, gigabytes to terabytes of data. So we need to come up with ways to analyze as well as store that data. So that's uh, an interest for, for most of us to think about. Um, uh, however, we also need to deal with a lot of uh, diversity in formats. Uh, this comes from instrumentation, proprietary file formats, and so on. And this is actually true both for binary data as well as the metadata. And again, the increasing complexity of the multimodality of these data sets and the correlated data sets actually make it a bit of an interesting challenge to actually deal with it. So how are we uh, at Eurobioimaging trying to help people uh, with this? First of all, uh, we offer image analysis as a service, and this is a fantastic service that our nodes are able to offer. And today is the day where you're going to hear a lot of these uh, 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 stories. So I'm not going to take a lot of time telling you about it because uh, we have a dedicated session and you'll um, get a bit of an idea or like a little vignette into what are the services that we offer and some stories from directly from our users. So uh, with that, if I move on to the next one, I can tell you a little bit about things that we actually do uh, at the Urban Imaging Hub to help um, not just individual users, but actually the whole community as well as our nodes uh, staff. And how do we do that? So first of all, we ensure the visibility of imaging data and the special needs of imaging data on a European landscape. And we do this by participation in the European Open Science Cloud Association, uh, which is a European level association talking about uh, how to uh, make a web of fair data and services. Uh, we also participate in many uh, EC projects that focus on metadata standardization, whether it's within domains or cross domains, uh, which also gets better visibility and uh, reusability to image data. Um, additionally, we also uh, work a lot with biomedical and uh, biological data initiatives and might refer to some of them uh, in the talk uh, in a bit. Um, additionally, we also work uh, closely with a lot of coordinate, uh, coordination with the community initiative because a lot of good work in terms of standardization and metadata is actually done in individual communities. So we, uh, from the European Imaging Hub, we try to be part of these communities so that our nodes and our users are aware of what are the latest developments that are taking place in these communities. And here are just some of the examples of these communities. Um, additionally, we also um, offer uh, image analysis. As, um, sorry, so um, uh, we offer technical support uh, for uh, for data formats as well as metadata and data sharing. We do this by supporting file formats like OMSR, which is more towards uh, um, more towards. Uh, large microscopy image data. But uh, uh, in addition, we also work with the, um, the Galaxy platform, for example, where we are trying to work on uh, image analysis tools as well as uh, providing services like the banner or desktop. Uh, we also provide tools uh, uh, and develop tools around uh, um, the XNAP platform, uh, which relates more to preclinical and clinical image data. So there's, there's a large variety of uh, technical support that we are providing to the general community. In addition, we also support our fair image data. I will also thankfully not need to talk a lot about that today because uh, our data steward would be giving a talk about that in a little bit. Uh, but here is just to um, just to indicate that we work closely with the repositories like Biomage uh, Archive, ITR, and Empire, as well as uh, we run a, a metadata repository for preclinical data called PIDAR. All right, um, little, uh, um, uh, let's say, uh, vignettes into some of the EU projects that we are involved in. And I'm not going to take a lot of time here, but maybe some of you already know this uh, happy-go-lucky giraffe jumping around on your Twitter feeds. Uh, so that is uh, the AI for Life project, which is about uh, um, um, uh, about making AI-based image analysis methods more accessible for uh, the life science communities. Uh, it is uh, It takes care of things like uh, standardization of AI model storage, curation, and usage, as well as easy access to cloud computing services in order to run these models. Um, while it has also a lot of opportunities that are coming out, we recently had an open call that uh, is closed now, but please uh, keep your eyes and ears open for the next challenge that might be coming your way very soon.
Uh, after that, I will give you a little bit of an idea about a new project that uh, has started from uh, European Imaging. This project is called Founding Guide or Founding a Global uh, Image Data Ecosystem. Here, the idea is that we are working with global partners, specifically those who are behind uh, running some of the data repositories like the Bioimage Archive, IDR, who are uh, situated at uh, uh, within Europe, uh, as well as our partners from Japan who run at the SSBD database. Um, and uh, data management systems like XNAT. Uh, so these are the people that we are working with and we're trying to come up with community guidelines that are easy for users to adapt, as well as try and, understand, try and reach a, a global understanding on what are the suggested ontologies that users can adopt so that their data can be easily uh, made openly available through these repositories. And we are again working here closely with the uh, international research infrastructures. Again, from Europe, we have uh, uh, Eurobio Imaging and German Bioimaging supporting the OME team there, um, as well as Avis from Japan and NIF and uh, Microscopy Australia from Australia. Again, save the dates because, uh, you know, we gave you a good reason earlier to join us in Okazaki in Japan because there's the global bioimaging event. But together and back to back with that global bioimaging event, we also have uh, the first guide community event that will take place on the 31st of October to 1st of November uh, in Japan. So now you have two good reasons to be there. So again, I'm hoping we'll see some of you there. All right. Uh, uh, last but not the least, uh, we also are a part of the EU CAIM project, which is a pan-European federation of data infrastructures related to cancer imaging. And here again, it's an opportunity because uh, the uh, calls are open for uh, the new data providers to join this platform. Uh, so please uh, feel free to reach out uh, um, and uh, be a part of uh, uh, this project. All right. Well, I guess with that, I come to an end uh, to the introduction to all the services that uh, we are offering here at Eurobioimaging.